white clover. It's one of our cattle and sheep's favourite foods, and it's now at the heart of the latest GE controversy. Ag research and scientists from its subsidiary Grasslands Technology are trying to switch on a gene they've discovered in white clover that would give cows and sheep extra protein, reduce emissions of methane and nitrogen waste, and improve animal health. Livestock burps produce about 90% of the methane that makes up almost half of New Zealand's greenhouse gas emissions. Dr Chris Jones, the section manager of Forage Biotechnology with Grasslands and Palmerston North, says that GE technology was the only way to develop clover traits to reduce methane emissions. So we're, we're trying to address a problem that has been recognised for decades. Uh, plant breeders have been have, uh, have always focused on this. It's, it's, it's a major opportunity and this is where biotechnology has actually come in and, and uh, provided the solution uh, which has been too difficult through conventional plant breeding. New Zealand scientists who want to genetically engineer white clover to reduce the methane emissions from livestock, like cows and sheep by 10%, say they'll do the GE work overseas. Ag Research, the state-owned science company, has recently run into regulatory problems over applications to genetically engineer livestock producing high-value proteins in milk. Ag Research Science Manager Dr Jimmy Sutty says no decision has yet been made on where the clover research would be done offshore. I think it's, uh, there's, a, there's a general awareness uh, in New Zealand that um, the country's probably not, it's not ready really uh, for these sorts of um, experiments to take place uh, in, in New Zealand with foragers <coughs> and uh, we'll be doing some work overseas biding our time until things change in New Zealand. But the controversial research is opposed by the Green Party's co-leader, Russell Norman. Let's, let's just uh, remember that they're talking about uh, GE clover that may reduce emissions by maybe 10%. Um, it may be that they can uh, put it into place in 15 years. So, I mean, it's a pretty long bow. Um, we already have uh, things we can do right now uh, to reduce greenhouse emissions coming out of dairying. And I just think we should get on and do that and focus on what's really possible and within our grasp. And the Soil and Health Association of New Zealand says GE plants and animals don't belong in clean, green, 100% pure New Zealand. There is a disconnect between that reality of what we trade on internationally and GE. The two aren't compatible and yet ag research and with government um, assistance is charging on down this track. Uh, they, they think it's a smart track and uh, the new technologies must be the smart way to go. That might be f fine in theory in, in another um, part of the world, but for the way we're branded and the things that uh, we're advantaged by, it's just incompatible. But the scientists say this huge breakthrough will benefit the environment, farmers and industry. Federated farmers say they agree. It can be a, treated as a, quite a, a thorny issue, I guess, if you're looking at it from a, a GMO perspective and you only see uh, the first few words of, of the uh, announcement. But if you read through it a bit further, you'll re realise that they are talking about really only looking at how those uh, the switches and genes are actually turned on to be able to create that particular reactivation of the tannin gene, which is the thing they're trying to achieve. The feds say livestock could also benefit by possibly reducing bloat in animals eating clover-rich pastures, especially in the spring when pasture growth is rapid. Drew Chappell, Country 99 TV News.